What is artificial intelligence really? I work in AI and my friends often ask, Tyler, can computers really be intelligent? And my answer is yes, they can and they are. Intelligence isn't some nebulous moving goalpost of a definition. What they're really asking is, can computers be conscious? That's your nebulous. And the answer is maybe. Intelligence, the ability to acquire and apply knowledge to effectively model the world and achieve goals under uncertain conditions. Three parts. In the journey of AI, we started with code, computer programs, apps, scripts. These achieve goals, but not in uncertain conditions. No, they're deterministic. Clicking a button likes a video. This concept is called a function, and in later content, that concept will return, because modern neural networks are sometimes called universal function approximators, meaning through one lens, what they're doing is inventing code on the fly. So programs aren't full intelligence. Enter the GoFi era, good old fashioned AI, the Dartmouth Summer Research Project of 1956. The phrase was coined and sub-disciplines were introduced. Knowledge representation, planning and decision-making, natural language processing, perception, and most importantly, learning. You'll see why later. The essence was to turn deterministic programs non-deterministic. Heuristics, rules of thumb, fuzzy logic. Given a scenario I know roughly something about, can I still achieve the goal? This isn't if-thens. This draws upon fields of statistics, probability, information theory, and calculus. Many of these algorithms are still in use. SLAM and robotics, A-star and pathfinding, and more. One missing piece, acquire and apply knowledge aka learn and adapt. Enter machine learning, or ML. Now, ML's been around since AI's beginnings, but the real magic started in 2012 with Jeffrey Hinton and team. Long story short, they made machine learning scalably feasible with data and GPUs, after which ML started being applied in all the sub-disciplines. Learning to see is more robust than programmed to see with uncertainty, and the rest is history. Artificial intelligence, done deal. But you're thinking, I don't feel like it's AI. Where's my household robot made therapist who plays tennis and feeds me grapes? Ah, that would be AGI, artificial general intelligence. Before I define that, let me define the extreme, ASI, artificial super intelligence. For the full video, see a link in the description.